All right, everybody, this is your first stance, the preparatory stance. All right, so let me get you set up here. You're going to have your legs slightly outside of your body, knees bent just a little bit, and you're going to have your hands right in front. Now, when you've got your hands now, don't have them open like this or palms out or something like that. You're going to have your hands right in front, right about where your belt is. So you're going to have your hands out in the front, maybe about, you know, about six, six inches, maybe six to eight inches apart. You don't want them too close, and you don't want them way out here. So you're going to be right in front of your body there. Okay, so we got our knees bent and hands in front. Keep your back up. You don't want to be leaning over or to the side or back like that. So just hands in front looking straight ahead. Remember, keep, keep your feet in line, all right? So you don't want one leg out here to the side or up like that, all right? So you're going to put one foot right next to the, next to the other, all right? Knees bent, hands in front. All right, our next stance is going to be the horse stance. Now on this one, you're going to have your stance basically the same way as your preparatory stance. Legs right outside your body, knees bent. But instead of having your hands in front, you're going to have your hands on your belt here to the side. Now on this now, you're not going to use this stance too much in line drill. It's going to be more once we get into katas and stuff like that. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw it in here now so you'll have it ready to go once we get into your katas. So knees bent, hands by your side, elbows back. Uh, back straight, not leaning over to the side or anything else, like on your preparatory stance. Back up, hands by your side, and knees bent. Now, when you do it, now you're going to have your toes pointed out to, towards the front, okay? Towards the front, don't have them turned to the side or anything like that. Legs pointed straight out, hands on your, on your belt here, looking straight ahead. All right, our next stance is going to be your front stance. Now, this one now, you're going to be spending most of your time out of this front stance and also your fighting stance, which I will show you next. But for now, let's focus on the front stance. With this stance, when you go back, you're going to go back with your right leg when you start to perform your technique each time. So let's say you're standing at the tension here, and you start your technique. Just go back with your right leg, and you're going to have your hands up from here. But before we get to the hands now on your, on your, on your leg work here, what you want is you want your front, your, or both, basically both your feet pointed to the front. So your front foot here, all right, you want it pointed straight ahead. You don't want it turned to the side or out like this, all right? So you want your front foot pointed straight towards you or straight towards the uh, wherever you're uh, doing your technique to. And your back leg, keep it locked. And that back, that back foot is not gonna be, you know, straight, straight ahead like this. So it may be turned to the side. So go ahead and get comfortable with that. Front knee's bent. And what I say is when you bend your front knee, bend it until you cannot see your, your toes there, all right? So you're that, big, that big toe, bend it until you can't see it. And that, that means that you uh, you got a good stance there. So if you got your leg, you know, locked straight like that, you can plainly see your whole foot. So you want to make sure you bend that foot or bend your leg until you can't see those toes. Keep that back leg locked, and your body. Now you want to keep your body up. Don't be leaning to the sides or leaning too far in like this. Right. So keep your back up, shoulders back, and you just, you just want to relax. Keep those shoulders down, relax a little bit. And on your hand, on your arms, and in your hands now. You want to keep your arms down, don't have your, what we call chicken wings, don't have your chicken wings up. So have your arms tucked down next to your side here, and your hands, you just want to be comfortable with your hands, just be loose with your hands. So when you're, when you're, when you're doing your uh, front stance here, you're just going to pull those hands, your fingers in, and then wrap your thumb around your fingers. So you don't want to have your thumb on the inside, because when you start doing punches on the bag, it's going to be real easy to break that thumb. So just have your fingers in, thumbs on the outside. Okay, so we've got our elbows down, and looking straight ahead when you're doing your moves. So when you're going through your technique here in a moment, don't be looking to the sides, right? So be, keep focused in just where you're uh, doing your technique to. All right, front stance, like I said, back leg locked, front knee just slightly bent until you cannot see your toes. Now, if you can see your toes a little bit, that's fine. Just want to be, you don't want to be too extreme to where you're leaning way over. So keep that, keep that back up. And knee up, front knee bent just a little bit, elbows down. You're protecting your, your ribs right here. Right? So you got the elbow down. So that's why you don't want your elbows up, because this is just wide open here. So elbows down, like I said, fingers in, and then thumb over from there. And shoulders back, relax. And that is your front stance. Okay, next we have our fighting stance. Now with this stance, it's going to be completely different than the ones you've learned before because you're going to be turned to the side. And when you start doing your technique, you're going to be doing it a little differently out of this stance than you would your other stance. So what you're going to do is, let's say you're at a tension here, 
and you go back into your fighting stance. Like with your front stance, you're going to want to go back with your right leg. So when you slide back, you're going to turn to the side from here. So without the hands, basically it's sort of like a uh, setup in a preparatory stance or a horse stance, but turn to the side. So the reason I say that is because you've got your feet pointed in uh, whichever direction your body is facing. So that's one thing you want to make sure. So your feet are going to be pointed straight ahead. You don't want them turned in or turned too far out or one, you know, facing straight ahead and the other one uh, straight, towards, uh, straight towards you there. So make sure you keep them both to the side here, whichever way your body is facing. But instead of facing, you know, just straight this way like you would with a preparatory stance, you're going to turn your upper body to where you're going straight in from there. Now that front foot may want to turn out a little bit, and that is okay. So if it's turning in, turned out towards the front a little bit, that's per perfectly fine. But uh, with this one now, just keep your knees bent slightly. You don't want to be standing, you know, straight up because you're going to be really slow once you start getting into your technique. So you're going to have those knees bent from here. Your knees bent. Like I said, you're going to turn your body slightly to the front. Okay. So what you're going to do with your hands is you're going to just have them slightly to the front here, and I'll show you from the side view in just a second. So remember what I said about the hands? Uh, put your fingers in, thumbs over the top, and you're going to have your elbows down, right? So don't have your chicken wings up again. So those hands are tucked straight down from here, and your body is slightly turned to the side. And just make sure your upper body just relax, keep those shoulders loose, because you don't want to be tensed up when you start your tanning, because that's going to make you slower. So you want to make sure that you're loose and then you tighten up right at impact when you start uh, learning your technique. So knees bent, feet turned to the side, that front foot, like I said, may turn slightly to the front. And just have those hands comfortable and loose right here to your side. Now, one thing I should point out before we go back to the side view is that when you have your feet lined up, like you can see here, don't have one leg way out here or one leg way back here. So you want to have them basically lined up as close you know, as you can from there. Okay. Let's go and go to the side view. Again, I'm going to get set up here. Got our legs out, slightly outside your body. You don't want them way out here or way close like this right here. Okay? So just slightly outside your body. All right, knees bent. Like I said, since I'm facing, my body's facing this way, my toes are going to be facing towards you. Okay? So our toes are pointing out there. Or if you're going through this, your toes may be pointing towards me. So whichever way your body's facing, Point those toes in that direction, get down in your stance a little bit, turn that body towards the front just slightly, and those hands are going to be up from here like this, okay? So you don't want to have them in like this right here, and one thing you don't want to do in your front stance or your body stance is lock those hands together, okay? So you want to have them separate so you can be quicker, because if you're like this and you're going to do a move, you're going to, you know, you're going to get mixed up. So have those hands separate, ready to go, knees bent. Shoulders relaxed, and don't tense up too much. And you're gonna to want to be a little tight when you're, or, you know, ready to go with the adrenaline and stuff when you're going through your technique. But just try to be as loose as you can so you can get in those moves quicker. Okay? And those knees are bent, hands slowly to the front, and that is your fighting stance. All right, our next stance is gonna be your back stance. Now this stance you're not gonna to use too much, but there are three moves that you will be using this stance for in your line drill and also you're going to be using this stance for your kata so it's very important that you understand how this stance works so let's go ahead and get into it now when you go back now you're going to go back just like you did with your, with your fighting stance so when you go back there's going to be one key difference here I don't know if you can pick it out yet but that front foot is going to be pointed straight ahead now your back leg is going to be just like with your, your fighting stance you're going to keep it bent alright keep it bent that back leg that foot on your back leg is going to be pointed straight out. So let's say your body is going this way. Your back leg or back foot is going to be turned that way too. But your front leg, you're going to point it straight ahead. So you want your knee and your whole leg here and your foot lined up going straight ahead. And just bend those knees. Now when you get your stance here, I'll show you on the side view. But you want to shift your weight just a little back on your back leg. Okay, So you're going to want to be able to spring in quick with this one. Now I say back stance, now you may hear me refer to it as a back stance knife hand block. And the reason I say back stance knife hand block is because you're going to be doing a knife hand stepping up blocking out once we go through the technique which you'll see here uh, later on. So when you're, you're on your hands now, you're going to have both hands open this time. Both hands are going to be open and your thumb, you're just going to pull your thumbs in from here 
and I'll show you again on the side view. So we got their hands in, fingers together. So when you do this, you don't want your fingers apart. So just keep them in close. So your front, your, you'll say your back hand, your right hand. So when, you, when you're doing this video, make sure you've got your right leg in back, okay? So you're going to bring your right hand and put it right there, right about where your stomach is, okay? So you, you don't want it down here on your, on your belt, and you don't want it way up here on your chest. So you want it kind of in between, right, right there on your uh, abdomen there. So we've got a, a hand here on your stomach, and your, your other hand, your front hand, is going to come up from here, okay? Now your front hand, you want, you want a slight bend in your elbow here, okay? So that, the reason I say that is because when you do it, you don't want it straight out, and you don't want it close in to you from here. So just about a slight bend from here. Now make sure you can see over your hand. You don't want your hand up here, you know, so you can't see me and I can't see you. So you want to bring it down here so that when you start going through your technique, you know, you can actually see where you're going, okay? So thumbs are in. Keeping that elbow down, relax your shoulders so you're not tensed up like this. So relax from here, hands right there on your stomach, knees bent, and that front hand is right there, right under your vision, where, you can, where your, your, uh, your line of vision there, so you can make sure you can see where you're going. Back leg, okay, I got my left leg in back this time. So my left leg, my knee is going to be facing towards you, my foot is going to be facing towards you too. So I got that leg bent, your front knee. Keep it kind of bent too, but like I said, you want to keep your weight on that rear leg as much as you can. Okay, like I said, the front foot is going to be pointed straight ahead, so since I'm going this way, that front foot is pointed, pointed straight ahead. Okay, got my hands, fingers in, or thumbs in, fingers together. Okay, that front, that left hand is going to be right there on my stomach. Okay, it's having that, you're going to have that uh, elbow bent, and from here, just relax. You don't want it way up here or tilt it way down like this, all right? So just act like you have a cup of tea or something in your hand, and you want to make sure you keep it level, because if you got it like this or like this, you're going to be spilling it. So keep that arm and that uh, hand level from here, right on your stomach, and that front hand is just going to come out from here, okay? So let's say you've got a fighting stance. You're just going to open that hand and come straight out from there. Like I said, slight bend in your elbow, thumbs in, fingers together from here. You'll understand this, you'll understand this uh, stance more when we get into the back stance mouth hand block before we're actually stepping up and going through some moves with it. So just for now, as you keep those knees bent, weight on that rear leg, and have those hands set up just like this. Okay, our next stance is going to be the cat stance. Now just let me tell you uh, right off here, the cat stance, you're not, you're not going to be using it in any line drill technique, but there are certain katas that you will be using this stance out of, like the hand showed on your first kata that you will be using it out of. So uh, even though you're going to do it, be using it briefly in your first kata, it's very important that you understand how to get into it and maneuver in it before we get into the kata so you're not confused uh, when you start the kata so you can just flow through that segment uh, easily without any trouble. So just let me show you the cat stance here. It's going to be best to show you just from the side view because of the type of stance it is. And just think of it as a short version of a back stance because that's basically all that it is. So let's go ahead and get set up in your back stance. Okay, everybody's got your back stance at this point, hopefully, or if you haven't, go back and review it until you feel comfortable with it. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to be from here, and all you're going to do is all you're going to do is slide your front leg back. Okay, so you're going to have your hands exactly the same way. You slide that front leg back until you're almost touching your inside of your of your left foot there. If you have your uh, if you have your right leg in front, when you slide it back, that right that right foot should almost be touching your left. Or let's say you got your left foot in front from here. Okay, you slide that front leg back until you're almost touching your inside of your right foot there. So let's go ahead and go back to your uh, right stand or your stance here. Okay, at your front foot here, slide it back. In from there, and like I like you can see here, you're gonna have your foot slightly up. The only thing that's touching the floor is the ball of your foot and your toes. Okay, so you got your toes into the floor, heels up, in from there. So both legs, you want to bend slightly and get down in that stance. And like I said, your hands are gonna be just like on the back stance. Okay, so the only thing, like I said, you're changing is your footwork. And all you're gonna do to change it is bring that front leg back from there and you have your cat stance. All right, 
going to wrap this section up with how to turn because there is a traditional way to turn when you're going through your technique. So let's say that you're going through your, your technique and you get, you, know, you get to a uh, point where you can't go any further because there's either a wall or there's something else there blocking your path. So instead of just backing up and going through your stuff again, there is a traditional way to do your turns in the front stance, the fighting stance, and the back stance, which you will be using most often when you're going through your line drill and your um, back technique and your kata. So let's go ahead and jump into these. Let's we'll start off with the front stance. We've got our front stance here. Now let's say we got, if you want to go through with us, or with me, you got your left leg in front and your right leg in the rear. And let's say we want to turn the other direction. All you got to do is keep your front leg where it's at. And what you're going to do is, or basically keep your front leg where it's at, and you're going to move your rear leg. You're going to slide it. So one way to think of it is you're going to flip your stance when you turn. Instead of having your left leg in front when we're going this way, when you turn in that direction to know that you've done the right turn, you should have your opposite leg in front. So we got our left leg in front. So when we turn in the other direction, if we've done it correctly, we should have our right leg in front. So let's go ahead and try this out here. Facing this direction, I'm going to turn and slide your back leg around. You're going to slide it. From here, now when you get to about this point right here, you're going to want to turn your body the rest of the direction and go ahead and slide this, this uh, your rear leg or your front leg, which will become your rear leg. Go ahead and slide it around and get set up from here. And I'll show you, I'll show you from the side view also so that you don't get confused. All right? So when you turn, you may get a little off center like I am. Just go ahead and get centered back up and get your stance ready. And you'll notice I got my right leg in front this time and my left leg in the rear. So I've done, the, I've done the turn correct. And you just have your hands up from here. So if you want to do a quick practice, what you can do is you can just slide that leg from here, get set back up, and you want to turn back the other way, just slide that leg from here. Okay? Get set back up, slide that leg, and there we are. Now I want to turn the other way. Left leg's in back, or left leg, yeah, left leg's in the back, and right leg's in the front. So when we turn, this left leg in the back is going to become our front leg from there. And if, it, if that stance doesn't feel quite right, just go ahead and get set back up until it feels comfortable with you. Because like I said, you want that front knee slightly bent and that back leg blocked from there. Okay, so let's try to turn one more time. So we've got a left leg in front, we're going to turn, slide that back leg around, stop it, and then turn that rear leg around and get set back up until your body's going straight straight ahead because you don't want you when you turn you don't want your body way over here or turned almost into a body stance so when you turn make sure you get set back up correct before you start uh, doing your technique again so you're going to turn stop get set up make sure you're ready to go so when you feel comfortable then you want to go into your technique again okay or i mean if you just want to go ahead and do moves until you get to a point where you can't go any further you know and just back up and go again that will be perfectly fine, just however you want to do it. We got our fighting stance now. Okay, our fighting stance from here. Now basically in a fighting stance, all you're going to be moving is your hands. So let me go ahead and show you from a, from a side view, which will be easier for you to uh, understand. We got our stance here. We're going in this direction, hands are up. And I want to turn the other direction because I've just basically run out, of room, run out of room and there's a wall there. Okay, so I'm facing this direction. All you got to move is your arms. Just move your arms in the other direction, okay? Now you are going to have to move your upper body and get set back up because you are, like I said before, slightly turned to the front. So your feet, you, got to move, you, might, you may have to move your legs a little bit to get set back up. But basically all you're doing is you're just moving that upper body from there, getting set back up really, really quick from there. And our back stance. Their back stance is a little, it can be a little tricky, but you are going to go ahead and learn one move before we actually get into the technique. So think, think of this as a little uh, head start for you here. So we got our, our back stance here. Okay, we've got it set up. Now let's say we want to turn back the other, the other direction. All you got to do is you're going to bring your hands in, cross them like an X, back out from there. You'll notice what I did. What did I do? I switched my hands, okay? So I got my right hand in front. I'm bringing it in, crossing, switching. And that left hand is going to be in front now. Now one thing that may get you confused is you're wondering which, which hand 
do I put in front? And just let me tell you a little thing to remember. Make sure they match up. And when I say they match up, that means if you've got your left leg in front, make sure you've got your left hand in front also. So you've got your left leg in front here, left hand's up. Let's say I'm going in this direction here. Right leg's in front. You want that right hand right over it. So if it feels awkward, then you're probably doing it wrong. So if you if you'll try that one time, you'll feel that it's just it feels awkward, your, your back's pulling there, and it just doesn't feel right. So just a rule, rule of thumb, make sure they match up, right leg to front. Make sure that, that lead, let's say your lead hand. So when you're going through your technique, you got your lead hand, which is the one that's following your technique, and you got your rear hand, which will be in the back. So the back stance, lead hand's going to be up here, and your uh, rear hand's going to be right here on your stomach.